getting fucked by men is never an achievement. Having an orgasm is something that you can get even without men. So your obsession with men and the idea that men are some kind of, 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 of trophy or, or having a man by your side or getting fucked is something that makes you better than other men. I'm sorry. So I'm just trying to explain to you your history and why you choose to attack people's vaginas and anuses, including my own mother's. I'm sorry my mother did not have a background of violence and uh, she did not get to experience the things that you went through. And I'm sorry you had to go through the things that you went through. We all have some shit in our lives. We all have experienced men and their violence and what they can do to us, our bodies and our minds. But the levels of what men can do to us when it comes to violence is what differs, is what makes us different. So for you, I think the effects were deeper. And by God, I honestly do hope that you get, you get the help that you need. It is not normal. I hope that you get the help that you need, you know. Um, 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 and, and, and the saddest bit is like when I look at you, sometimes when I listen to, to the things that you say, and you talk about you being brilliant and you talk about you being chosen and you talk about you being at a place where that you know things that that you're wise <laughs> and you talk about men and marriage and everything while you yourself are not able to keep even one you know um it's very clear that there's actually uh, something your iniquities are very ajar, you know. You're not in any place to talk about anybody and men and how good you are um, because you talk about Nyege as if you are the, the supreme of supremes, as if your vagina keeps the men, as if you are the producer of the best sex in bed and you know how to keep the best men. Uh, while it's very clear you've also failed in that area, you know, um, uh, I, I would hope that uh, with all your prowess, with all your exposure, you are, you are going to be bringing us people who are of value and telling us, uh, you know, that we would look at a partner of yours and, and, and have something good to say about it. Unfortunately, your obsession with the penis only ends up give, putting you in a place where you, you fuck poor men, uh, you fuck gigolos. And like I said, your, your obsession with the penis, okay, is making you so desperate that you even uh, lack the skill to choose the men that are supposed to be good for you. So it's something that is going to be, you know, it's like a cycle, you know. So um, I've been trying to look at the good qualities of even of the men or even the good qualities of your life and the people that you have around you to see if there's anything beautiful I can even talk about or pick on. But every time I see, I see crass, I see low class, I see desperation. Um, I see a, a person that uh, hasn't even experienced love herself. It's very clear you never really got to experience true love. Uh, not just from men, even right from home. Because your behavior, your character is just very, very clear, you know. Uh, you you are looking, you, you did not get that love. I think the home setting where you grew up, apart from it being a setting of poverty, I think also it was a setting where there was violence because it's so clear in your behavior. And now that you choose to talk about siblings, you don't want me to talk about your family and your siblings. I'm going to be respectful to you because at least I know that there is a boundary I shouldn't touch. Because if you're going to talk about people and the people that need help, look back into your family. Look at the people that need help in your family. Don't look into my family. I believe my family is in a very, very, very better place than yours. If you go to my home, you'll find very many toilets. People can actually go there. 
if you go to my home, you'll find bedrooms and beds where people can sleep. There is a huge difference. So my family is not in a place where your family is. And in my family, we never grew up in poverty. We got to know about poverty after my mom's death. Okay? So my mom's death is what made us understand poverty. We, we grew up in wealth all, you know, all through our lives we were people who grew up in wealth. I was born in Hallingham. We were all born in Hallingham in Nairobi Hospital. You, you do not, you did not get to experience that, okay? So the wealth is something that is kind of new to you right now, and you're experiencing money right now for the first time since you were born. So imagine experiencing money now plus the trauma that you have from your work, from from your work as a sex worker and the violence that men have meted against you, that combination is what is making you behave like a maniac and a lunatic in this platform. Now, as a person who understands your mindset and how low, low class or crass you are, I think uh, it's important that you don't think and never ever be mistaken, even for one day, that you can understand me, okay? You are not in any place to understand me. You never be. Izuma to Sizako, they, they really don't mean anything to me because me, I don't need to, to see you. When I'm coming for you, Nyako, I'm going to come for you properly. And Mimi Sita Kutusi. I will make sure that you will forever remember the name Diana Rose Atien. You talk about the names, the, the noise here on TikTok at Unongea Noise. No, the only reason why you really cannot give credit to anybody is because you think all the credit belongs to you. You think that everything on TikTok and every money, every dime, every gifter, every person on TikTok is a person that you're supposed to be cajoling, manipulating and having under the palm of your hands. Okay? This platform is wide. Everybody is supposed to be here. People are supposed to be thriving in this platform. This platform does not belong to you. This platform is not yours. I do not think that your family has anything, uh, any shares on TikTok. You don't. So I'm sorry, you are starting a war. And, and, and I'm going to tell you very well. Uh, maybe you don't know. Uh, because how kuko me ambiwa, I'm going to put for you screenshots about what is happening to your account on TikTok. And I'm telling you very clearly, Mimi, Diana, I am the one that reported your accounts to TikTok. And it has been a process. And TikTok has been updating me on where they are every day. Each and every day. At least once a week they get to tell me because it is a whole investigation. It is not at at it is just about you at your your account was being reported for Matusi. No. It is a whole investigation that involves wire fraud about what you did in Dubai with Rosso and the rest. If you don't know, let me inform you now. That's the truth that Ati does not want to tell you. Sawa. So let me just tell you so that you are aware today. It is about wire fraud and this is a whole company that is investigating you. It's called Bite Dance. Sawa. Now leo ni mekuambia the truth that you don't know. Watu wamekua kikudanganya uko nyuma na wanakuambia vitu zenye ujui. Sawa, sawa. And I am a witness to that investigation. Sawa, sawa. And let me tell you, these are things, processes, that take time. They are, they are not things that happen in your calendar. It's not about your calendar. It's not about how you want things to be done. The companies will do their work in their own time the way they want to do it. Sawa, sawa. They have their own, they have their own ways. Na kama unataka kujua vizuri, go and read the story of Hash Puppy. Sawa, sawa. Enda usome story ya Hash Puppy. Go and Google Hash Puppy story and read it. You will understand very well what happens. Uko na raka hapa, unaseme tu na atikesi ya kuna pali inaenda. My friend, cases don't go according to your camp, to your calendar. Haziendangi vile we unataka. Kesi haziendi vile we unataka. Cases will go 
according to what the company's policies are. Okay, number one, you came to TikTok. Apart from just the wire fraud, you also decided to fundraise on TikTok, which actually is against what the TikTok does. TikTok has a process for fundraising. Okay. Wewe bado umezungukwa na madelulu wanakuambia eti ho kesi ya mbewa na ilifika wapi yet you have no idea where those cases are you don't know anything about those cases you don't know anything about them you have fools around you that keep on pushing you wanakudanganya but at the end of the day hata ukitumiwa summons za summons za za za, za koti the other day si wewe ulitumiwa peke yako kule uliona ukitu, wakitumia Google Nation ulitumiwa peke yako hakuna mtu mwenye alitumiwa ati Google Nation you are going to stand by yourself and you will be on your own wewe mwenyewe wanakudanganya hapa kelele kelele sijui hotea sijui nini my friend <laughs> you are going to see what wrath the wrath of a, school, a, a a woman that loved her mother is sawa na nitakuwa hapa tiktok i will be here to watch sawa sawa you cannot be violating people and using this platform to be violating people and harming people and expect that you are going to exist in this platform and get away with it my friend you are in lululand you are dreaming that is not going to happen sawa sawa that is never going to happen and keep dreaming uta dream na dream na tena nimekupatia nafasi wewe zidi kutusi i'm giving you that opportunity continue with your violence and your insults sawa sawa there is nothing that you are going to get away with on this platform your 40 days are soon coming umesikia na mimi nimekuambia I don't even need to even bother with you kuna watu wenye are so they are yani na kuna kuambia <laughs> if you only knew ungefunga tu hiyo mdomo yako shijapa and there's nothing you're going to prepare for because first of all you don't have the capacity to even do it you don't have the brain to tackle these issues you're not objective you stupidly yap and yell and wail when you open a live you don't know how to think you don't see the future you don't know when to stop you're basically like a train wreck you're like a train wreck you know a train wreck that just goes on and on and on and on you know a person we, we you know you don't know when to stop you don't know when to shut the fuck up you don't know you think that e- e- dealing with issues like this requires noise No. You don't make noise when you're dealing issues like this. And first of all, you can't even afford a lawyer. You couldn't even have a lawyer for your case in Kenya. You don't even know it's important. You disrespect everything and everyone, even authorities. You do. So you think that be- I-, I heard you one time talking about you being in Germany. At yo, oh, I should have sued you in Germany. Uh come on, don't be foolish. Why would I sue you in Germany and you're fundraising for a CBO in Kenya? Are you stupid? Do you use your brain? Ali Ali do you have a brain? And 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 I'm telling you the way that your accounts are going to be removed on TikTok, you're not going to be able to come back on TikTok because there'll be face recognition and voice recognition. If you try to make anything or any other pseudo to come in, hautapata njia ya kukuja. And I can tell you that for sure. Remember. Sawa. Artist alijaribu Facebook. Group yake iko wapi? Si she tried. Where is her group now? Did she not try? And um right now I'm working with um with uh, uh, an international media organization because we want to highlight your we're going to use you as an example to highlight what happening on TikTok. Um because we want to make sure that the documentary includes what you do on TikTok that's what we've been working on uh and uh, it's good the documentary will be out soon we want people to understand that this platform apart from the fact that you are violent there's also fraud and there's money wire fraud happening here 
when it comes to the issues of gifts and gifting and how some people who are actually scammers use platforms like yours to siphon money and then it's withdrawn for them. So wewe, bado umekuwa kilala kwa class while investigations zilianza kitambu. Watch how maumbo zako wakuambie ti, oh, hot hair, hot hair, my friend. Ibiro pielecho, tati ngeni kibire mimi, mama na, oh oh, hey, 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 imulo kamikia, yuvinjo. Me, I can't talk about your mother because honestly, I, I, I don't know her. There's really nothing. I only know the things that you are talking about her, the bad things you are talking about your mother. So I can't talk about her. You know, at least I was raised in a good place where I knew that mothers are people that are need to be respected. I know that you did not have that opportunity um, to be in a home where you people are well brought up and are cultured and are well mannered, mannered and with character. So I know that you don't recognize that fact. You never really don't. So it's okay. And uh, and I hope that you do find <laughs> you do find that opportunity to be the best mother, you know, at the end of the day. So you um, keep on attacking Nelly. Um, Nelly is an adult. I believe she can defend herself. If she wants, she can cry on a live. If she wants, she can uh, attack Ipenda, atoe manguzake kwa live, akitaka ku defend herself from. If Nelly wants to mourn for her mother, she can mourn for her mother the way that she wants. Unaskia. If she's a business person, when ya nauza samaki, anaiza ku defend business yake the way that she wants. Because that is her business. She has every right to defend it the way that she was. Unajua. Akitaka kufungua live, mumutumie gifts, nisawa, akujia liye, that is also okay. Akitaka kulilia mamake kwa live, iyo ni okay. Me, I mourn for my mother the best way that I know. Because mourning is personal. Sawa, mourning is personal. It's not a communal thing. Sawa, uh, usaile una uchungwa mama ama mchungwa zazi, siu kitu unashare na nini? Unashare na sibling? Iyo ni kitu yenye iko individual, okay? And the situation... Situations that my mom died in, you know, because I was with her, it's very different, you know. Nelly was not there. Nelly experienced the loss of a mother, yes. But she will mourn in a way that she pleases. So she's an adult. She can defend herself. Sawa. Anaeza kuji defend vile anataka. Akipenda kufungua live afungue. Sawa. And I'm sorry, Nelly, that what is happening here is making you uncomfortable. Pole sana. Kama utaki kuka kwa TikTok kwa sababu ya Diana, Nelly, you can delete your account. Sawa, so, uh, I, I get to be on TikTok when I want to and I will be here as I want to, okay? I understand why TikTok is important to you and why you really need to exist in this space and the people that you need to be in this space and why you think I might be not good for you right now. Me, I know why. Unajua, kila mutu wakomboka hapa. Umelewa. So, and also, I'm very different from you. Tumelewana. Tuko very different. Mm? Otherwise, I feel your pain as a sister. But uh, on this one, where we defend your business, defend yourself. Sawa, sawa. Uh, defend yourself. I'm not going to do that for you. Uh, kama umetajwa, wewe, defend yourself. Ufanya vitu zako kivyako the best way that you know. Sawa, sawa, hapa kwa TikTok. Mimi, nitafanya vitu zangu the best way that I do know. Sawa, sawa. Mimi, you are an adult. Mimi, I don't, uh, wajo, wenye nige, mtu mwenye nige defend ni mtoto. But not you. When you mzima, when you mwana mke mzima, you can do your thing, you can defend yourself the best way that you can. So, and also you were on TikTok before me. Now, Kwaibo, you know why you can do things the way you're doing them. So, even though we like, mimi mwenyewe, uh, uh, moving forward, because nimesikia umekuja ukalia kwa live, ukasema maneno mengi, uh, I want to give you your peace. And moving forward, I think it's best that I block you so that you can have your peace. I don't want you to ever to be coming to my lives and then you get to experience the violence because they are quote-unquote affecting you. 
okay uh, 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 quote and quote zina kwa, 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 you know zina ku affect so i is this ku affect sawa sawa so for you to have peace because this war ndio imeanza saa hii hii haitaisha hii ni war itaisha april ama june ama maybe august sawa sawa kulingana na vile itakuwa haitaisha saa hii so I, i think the best thing for me to do is to block you so that wewe ukue na peace yenye unahitaji sawa sawa then you can do your business well utakuwa na biashara yako ufanye vizuri ufanye kila kitu yako vizuri sawa sawa ndio wache kwa <laughs> mtu ananiambia eti ati 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 niende nikasaidie dada yangu ku, kuacha kuuza samaki afadhali dada yangu anauza samaki lakini hana criminal record dada yangu si muizi unajua afadhali mm? anauza samaki yake na anapata hela zake mm? ama mnataka tufanye research ya siblings tulete hapa because that's something i do very well hmm? mnataka tulete research ya siblings na ma records na kila kitu ziletwe hapa hivyo ndo vile tunataka hmm? so she does her, her business genuinely she knows what she's doing on tiktok and because of that respect that i have for her i am going to block her sawa so, sawa so, i'm going to block her Yeah, Anna, bipolar is very real. If you didn't know. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Tumeingia kwa siasa ya TikTok sasa. We are in for it. Sawa sawa. So that is the thing is, yeah, eh, yeah, that is it. So kid you you uh, whatever love you want to call it, call it, but um I choose to block you now so that you can be have your peace that you want on TikTok. And also I'm kindly requesting you to stay out of my business. If you want to mourn for our mother, mourn for her. You are, you are okay. Ukitaka ku mourn, ufungue live, my gifts ziingie ni sawa. Ukitaka kuenda ku, ku, ku kutoa manguo mahali kwa barabara ama ukuje watu wa nasikia unasema ulishikwa sijui na nani, that is okay. Wewe do your thing the way you want to do it. But on this I want you to stay away from this business completely. Sawa. So, Nyako aliku mention kama unataka ku, ku respond respond be, without involving Diana. Don't put me inside the response, okay? I have never asked you to defend me anywhere. Never. Sijawahi kukuuliza kuni defend anywhere. So, so when you want to defend yourself and you want to talk about your mother you're free to do that and do it at your own capacity but not me. So you're not with Diana. Mimi stay out of my business. And I'm asking you this nearly in kindness. So, so that Mimi I can deal with my issues. I know how to deal with my issues and I deal with my issues by myself. I have never ever 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 required the help of anybody so 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 we pole sana for what happened in the morning i feel you perhaps i feel your pain i feel whatever happened uh idingori thank you i feel whatever you're going through um you know it's not a good place to be so so not a good place to be but as for me i will deal with the issues that affect me as diana by myself sawa sawa si itaji mtu yote na and i don't need to solicit anyone so moving forward i think tuheshimiane ka kwa leni yako ni kai kwa leni yangu hapa tiktok ufanye vitu zako na mimi nifanye vitu zangu i do not want to mention you or to make you hey jill how are you sis how are you doing i love you sis that's my small sister guys i love her to death yeah sawa So anyway back to basics I was going to say something apart from the there was something else that I wanted to say uh nilikuwa nime nimeandika hapa chini sorry now nani wo moderators oh yeah my moderators thank you for the good job hapa atutaki ujinga na tutaki takataka 
Sawa sawa. Now, let me tell you something. <laughs> Wa. Hm? Mm? Hapa uh, TikTok tuta 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 ishi hapa na we will coexist in this platform and we will learn to respect each other. And I'm repeating again on the 28th I have an event, eh? I have a very big event on the 28th and I will announce everything about it on the 27th. 27th usiku midnight ndio nita announce my event on the 28th. Sawa sawa. Sawa sawa. So samurai unaniuliza swali gani hiyo? Mm? Uko poa ama kuna kitu unatafuta hapa? Mm? Kuna kitu yenye unatafuta? Uta unafikiri utaipata hapa? You think you're gonna get it here? Now, on the issue of Ati, let me tell you guys, uh, for Mildred Ati Oiso, the war between me and her, hiyo ni yangu na yeye na bado tutaendelea. The war will continue na tutaendelea as it has started. The, as long as Anani mention, as long as she's talking about me, as long as she's trying to talk and put people and people to sit on platforms to talk about me, bado nitakuwa na yeye. Anytime she talks, I will talk. Sawa sawa. Anytime she opens her mouth, I will respond because that is what you do with bullies. You don't allow bullies to sit back like the way that's what I did today in the morning when she was lying and saying it at ye her record what yet she records people ye ndio the biggest recorder of people hapa kwa tiktok ni yeye ndiye ana record watu kushinda mtu yote mm -hmm. so ilikuwa ni nafaa kuleta chai ya nani where is one of my moderators jamani moderator wangu mmoja kwa wapi nataka kuchezesha rekodi nyingine hapa Hey, hey, hey.